the total debits in a business must match the total credits. But where do the words come from? Latin is the answer to that. Debit comes from debere, which means to owe, and credit comes from credere, which means to entrust. This is why they're often abbreviated to DR and CR. The original meanings of these words are a bit irrelevant these days. It's much simpler to think of debits and credits in terms of economic benefit. Here's what I mean. In double entry accounting, we have two main groups of accounts, normal debit accounts and normal credit accounts. Normal debit accounts increase when debited and decrease when credited. And normal credit accounts work the other way round. They decrease when debited and increase when credited. This is because every financial transaction involves a flow of economic benefit from a source to a destination. Normal credit accounts represent the sources that economic benefit flows from. They include liabilities, where a business borrows funds from a third party, equity, where the owners contribute the funds themselves, and revenue, where the business generates the funds internally. On the other hand, normal debit accounts represent the destinations that economic benefit flows to. They're made up of expenses, where business incurs costs to third parties, dividends, where the business distributes funds back to its owners, and assets, where the funds are held as resources within the business. If we swap around dividends and expenses, then there's a simple acronym to help you remember all of this. DEALA. DEA represent normal debit accounts, dividends, expenses, and assets. These increase when debited and decrease when credited. And LER represent the normal credit accounts, liabilities, equity, and revenue. These increase when credited and decrease when debited.